Hi and welcome to Distilling in Australia. My name is Nick uh, and for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, share uh, with friends. Also on Facebook we have a uh, private uh, Facebook group called Distilling in Australia so jump on that and answer the three questions and uh, join us in the discussion on um, legal distilling uh, in Australia. Now this is a uh, licensed distillery, it is, has an Australian tax office license, also has a Queensland liquor license, so everything we do here is 100% legal. So before we get started, as always, here is five seconds of your life you will never get back. So today what I'm going to be doing is a still upgrade. Now, for those of you who've been watching, you of course would be familiar with my still, but for anyone who is new, uh, this is a uh, reflux still. We have a 150 litre kettle down the bottom here, uh, which is made of uh, three millimetre stainless steel, uh, four inch copper uh, reflux, um, four stage reflux uh, through here. This was an add-on, I added this on, it is a manifold. Uh, the manifold is a system that I put together to help regulate the uh, water flow through my deflegnator, which works really well. Uh, we have the head going through to the uh, gin basket. This is a uh, drain pipe, so I can drain from the gin basket back down into the kettle uh, through, through this pipe here. Through down here, the shotgun condenser, through the parrot, and then of course the product comes out through the end of the parrot. So that was as still as it is, or has, as I have been using it. But what I've found is that uh, I wasn't quite happy with the um, level of uh, distillate that I was getting out of, the, uh, out of the still, so I've decided to upgrade my still. Uh, and I've been waiting quite some time to uh, get the uh, upgrades. So um, we're going to be going from this to this. So as you can see, uh, the gin basket's gone. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six plates now. I've still have my manifold here for the deflegnator and uh, of course the shotgun condenser here with the parrot and the product coming out of there. So temperature up here, so it's all obviously a bit higher uh, by adding these two extra plates. Now. Because this is the first time I've um, done this run with the uh, six plates rather than the four plates, I'm going to be doing a lot of cuts because um, I want to see what the difference is uh, in terms of uh, the takeoff and when the uh, heads start, the, the heads stop and the hearts start and when the tails start. So the plan is I'm going to do, uh, I've got about uh, 130 litres in there. I, I've sort of got around about 13 liters of alcohol possible around there so based on that i'm going to do three liters um, of uh, cuts in heads then i'm going to do seven liters uh, into the uh, bulk container that i have and then at the end of it i'm going to do probably four or five liters of tails cuts uh, so i'm pretty safe with about seven litres in the middle there um, after I take off the initial three litres and that'll then give me a good idea of where my uh, heads um, finish and my heart start. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for uh, in this particular setup to see if doing the six plates has made uh, any sort of significant difference. Now remember, I have taken the gin basket out. Normally I do run it with the gin basket, but I have taken the gin basket out. So we're not doing apples with apples, but it's, uh, I just wanted to get a, a, a clean spirit out of this. Uh, this is um, technically a neutral spirit run that I'm doing. So we'll see uh, how it all uh, pans out. Uh, now I'm not gonna bore you with uh, the whole run. Um, I'm just going to do all the cuts and then we'll come back at the end and analyze to see how it all went. So yeah, so um, we're now uh, six plate uh, still. Uh, if you're interested in the statistics, 155 litre kettle, uh, 130 capacity. It's a four inch all copper uh, column up through here. So all the plates are copper, all the column itself is copper. So it gets plenty of copper coming through. Uh, the deflegnator obviously, your head and then down through your shotgun um, uh, uh, condenser. So um, yeah, that's where we'll leave it for now. 
Uh, we'll come back uh, if there's anything of interest that happens. Uh, started the run at uh, 8 o'clock this morning, so I'll be interested to see how long it will take. Currently running at 75% on two, two 5,000 watt elements. So drawing uh, 204 amps, sorry, 204 volts at uh, 17 amps. So I'm on a right on about 7,000 watts at the moment. So that's what uh, I'm using here in terms of power uh, to heat it up. I could go harder, uh, but I just like to take it a little bit slowly at the front end, just my personal preference, just what I like to do. Uh, I know many of you will go hard straight away, but yeah, I just build it up slowly. Anyway, um, I do have a little toy, my toy, which I showed you last time. Uh, this is connected to my pump. I have a remote now control to my pump, so I can turn my pump on. You probably can't see it, but uh, it, it turns the uh, circulation on. So I don't have to go outside and turn it on. I do have a power point outside. So now I've connected up to my uh, little remote. So yeah, just got it from Bunnings. Uh, great little toy, uh, not toy, great little uh, product. Just uh, makes life a lot easier when it comes to uh, turning things on and off um, when you need them. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. Um, and I'll be back uh, if anything of interest happens. Ciao for now. All right, so we're about an hour into the run. Uh, the temperature on the kettle is just hitting 84 degrees Celsius. Uh, I have my jars set up, 16 jars set up there, uh, with the, the first jar there ready for the parrot. Um, and we are currently getting some fogging in uh, the six plates, but at this stage, uh, everything is looking pretty smooth. So we'll just leave it like that for the time being and uh, we'll see how we go okay so we're about two hours into the run um, all the plates have been loaded i'm running a head temperature of just on um, 82 degrees celsius kettle temperature is now at 95 celsius um, we're producing at 91 percent so this is the first jar so it's coming out at the moment so at the moment we've got 91 percent uh, AUEV coming out of it um, through there. Uh, so I'm just going to stick to those levels. I'm only operating on 40% uh, power at the moment. So I'm on 90 volts at 7.3 amps by two. So that's what we're drawing. So around about probably about 12, 1300 watts uh, in this 130 litre kettle. Uh, so that's the power we're using. So it's about 30 cents an hour to run it um, at those power levels. So this is, as I said, a first jar. Uh, so we're going to just take off the first um, three litres. Then I'm going to, uh, after that, put it into the container down here for seven litres and then take off the last uh, three or four litres after that. Uh, so all six plates are nicely loaded. Uh, everything seems to be going well. Uh, yeah, so I'm happy with, uh, with how it's going. And... Uh, time will tell as to uh, whether or not it's made a difference to the actual product. Uh, so I'll keep you posted. Just shut it down. Uh, it's now quarter to five in the afternoon. Uh, I have collected uh, 22 um, half litre um, jars. They've actually got 550 mils in each jar, so I'm up to 22. But in the middle of that, I took about four litres of uh, spirit in this container here. So what I'm going to do over the next few days is I'm going to go and start at obviously jar number one and work my way down and start at jar 22 and work my way back to find out where the, the best product is. And I have had a couple of tastes that I did take a sample at uh, 21, uh, at the end of 21, and it was pretty well undrinkable, but... Nevertheless, um, it was a good indication, so that's why I shut it down at 22. I'm at 75%, uh, 76% um, ABV at the Parrot uh, at the moment. Um, as you can hear, the pump's still running in the background, but the still now has been shut down. Uh, I'm just letting it uh, run through while it cools down. Um, and uh, we started at about 92% in jar number one. So uh, over the next few days, we'll do some testing, tasting, see uh, what we actually netted out of it. Now remember, this was a 26 kilogram sugar wash. All right, so we've got uh, something in the order of uh, 15 uh, litres of um, product. 
uh, out of um, 26 kilos of um, sugar. So that's uh, give you a bit of an idea of uh, the ratios that you can expect. Uh, now we just got to work out what's drinkable. The extra plates and the configuration, I think, from the, from the little bit of testing that I've done, seems to have made a substantial difference uh, to the product. But anyway, we'll see how that uh, folds out of the, over the next few days. So it's a couple of days later, and uh, this is the result of uh, the run. So we have uh, 22 jars plus this container here, so 23 cuts in all. The first eight cuts, then this is the ninth cut, so we just call it, you know, the bulk is about four or five litres in there. Uh, and then we go continue on at the end. So what I'm interested in is where um, we take the heads off and where we take the tails off and how much of this I'm going to keep and put into this container and how much of this I'm going to keep and put into this container. So I'll just get rid of this container so I've got a bit of a work area here. So I'll pop that down here. Okay, so um, I have done a little bit of pre-testing here. So uh, I've uh, measured the uh, alcohol level of jar three, jar 16 and jar 19. So uh, that's, uh, that's where we're at. Now, spoiler alert, I have tasted jar 13 uh, and it was very smooth, very, very nice. And I did taste jar 21 and it was pretty well undrinkable. So I know that 21 is undrinkable. I know that 13 is nice. So obviously 13 back is going to go into the hearts. Uh, it's just a matter of where we go from here. Now each one of these jars is 550 mils. So there's about 500 mils in each jar. Here I have uh, distilled water uh, with my syringe. Uh, this is going to be my tasting beacon. And this is a controlled vodka here. So this is a commercial um, what, you, what I would call a medium, uh, medium cost vodka. So, yeah, not the cheapest and nastiest, but not you know, ridiculously expensive either. So sort of a middle of the road of vodka. I'm not going to tell you which one it is because I don't think that's fair. Um, but it just gives me a um, comparison. Now, I have been airing these three jars that I'm going to test. So I'm going to, as I said, test three, 16 and 19, and then we'll move on from there. Um, this is from jar three, so I've already watered it down. So jar three is at 92%. Uh, I have watered it down, so it's now watered down to 40%. Now there's only 10 mils, 10, 11 mils in there. So uh, yeah, so three of those is, is one standard drink. This has been airing for about five minutes, five, 10 minutes. So yeah, I just like to air it. Mm, smells clean. Yeah, now, the, the difference here, now there's going to be a difference. Uh, the difference here, this is a grain vodka, and this is of course a sugar wash vodka. Now, I'm doing a sugar wash vodka for a very specific reason, it's because I'm going to turn it into a pink vodka. Uh, and so the, the fruits from, the natural fruits that I'm going to infuse this with is going to bind, I believe, better with a sugar vodka than a, um, uh, with a grain vodka. I've had pink grain vodkas and I find that uh, the aftertaste on the grain vodka uh, really comes through, that sort of grainy harsh flavour comes through and sort of takes away from the, um, the, the, the flavour of the fruit. So that's my theory and uh, in the next few videos we'll see if that, if that works. Uh, as I said, you know, you're learning from my mistakes. So, okay, so this is jar number three. Not too shabby, I have to admit. I, I was expecting, I knew I'd be getting rid of one and probably two, but I was sort of on the borderline on three, but um, it got a little bit of afterburn on it, but it 
Yeah, no, uh, it's... Um, Jar 3, my opinion, and that's all that counts, uh, my opinion is Jar 3 at 1.5 litres is actually smoother than um, the uh, commercial vodka here. I'll just have another taste. Hmm. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, I find that that is smoother than, than that, and I'm quite happy to keep that. Um, quite happy to keep that. That's, um, that's good. So it looks like I'm going to take maybe just the first litre off, but um, I'm going to try that again. Uh, that's actually... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a vodka drinker uh, normally, um, so. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, that's definitely smoother. That's, um, yeah, no, that's, um, that's uh, good. Now, otherwise, if I drink too much, I don't want to be smashed. Uh, otherwise, you lose a bit of perspective. So that can be my... Um, waste jar. Go to the other end. Let's try jar number 19. So um, I'm quite happy to keep three. So I'm just going to screw the lid back on three. And let's try uh, jar number 19. Now for 19 we're at 87 percent. Okay so the ratio for that at 87 says five mils to six mils. So that's three. And two. Okay, so that's five mils. And well, it's uh, 5.9 mils, so yeah, close enough to six mils. Uh, do 5.9, here we go. Okay, all right, so again, that brings it down to the 40%. Mm, okay, so instantly, yeah, instantly a um, different smell. Mm. Yeah, it's got a, this has got a much fruitier smell than, um, than this one. Mmm, okay. Doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily discard it at this point. I'll see what it tastes like um, and we'll just work our way backwards from 19. Uh, obviously, 20, 21, 22, I'm going to discard um, because this is sort of, this if anything would be borderline, but it's kind of going to come down to the taste. Mmm. It uh, has that, oh, what's the, what's the smell? It's, um, sort of like, almost a bit like that, um, moldy sort of uh, bacteria smell that you get on a dishcloth um, when it's, you know, when it's starting to be a bit old. Actually, a bit more like Vegemite, to be honest. So there you go, <laughs> Vegemite. So that sort of, yeah, that hint of Vegemite in there. Oh, yeah, no. No. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. 
Yuck. No, that's no good at all. So, yeah. Yeah, no. No. No, definitely not. Okay, so I'm going to discard 19. That's gone. Okay, 19's out of the picture. 16 is also at 87%. So let's see how we go with 16. So that's the same ratio. So five mils to um, 5.9 mils. Okay, so that's better. Just starting at 16, it's just starting that transition over to that Vegemite smell. It's still better than that. Mmm, okay. Um, mm. Borderline, 16 is borderline. So, so that's one, two, so that's, yeah, one, two, three litres at the tails. Could be three and a half. So we'll try 15. So from 15 to 16, it went from 87 to 89. So that was interesting. That was um, quite a uh, rapid uh, drop between those two. And then the next one I'm going to try is two, because I'm definitely going to keep three. Three, three was good. So I'm just going to let that sit for a minute, because uh, I haven't let that air. So we'll come back uh, to this in a couple of minutes. Just let it sit and uh, do its thing. All right. So we'll back to it in a few minutes. All right. So we've been sitting. This has been sitting for a few minutes. So we'll try this one. Now, I've still got jar three here. Yeah, that's still... Yeah, no. Nah. Wow. 15 is still... That's um, definitely a bit tailsy. Still. That's um Yep, no. No, we're not gonna do eighty nine percent. Now remember this is coming off a six stage six uh plate uh reflux still. So uh I'm gonna discard fifteen. Yeah, 89.5% on 14. So I'm just going to let 14 air for a minute, see how it goes. So an interesting, so I actually know that 13's good. So 14. Tell you what, it's only what, quarter past ten in the morning. I'll be schnozzled. Yeah, no, that's, I'm happy to keep that. I'm happy to keep 14. So it looks like the turning point is right on that 90%. Uh, when you, you know, you might start off at 91, you know, 92 to 95%, whatever you still does. But um, when you get down to that sort of 90, just on 90%, it seems to go from there. So what I want to do now is I want to actually try number two. 
and see if that's too much into the heads. All right, so this is number two. Oh, that's clean. Straight away, no hesitation. Yep. Incredibly close. So, number two, and this commercial one, are actually be incredibly close. Three is still better. Yep. Yep, three is still better. But um, number two is fine. So I'm happy to keep number two. So I'm happy to keep number two all the way through to 14 and discard 15. So it's one, two, three, four, four and a half litres. Now that's 26, out, 26 kilograms of sugar in a sugar wash. Um, and uh, what we'll do now is I will put it all together and I'll put it in the container and out of that 26 litres, let's see how much of uh, actual um, uh, drinkable uh, product we ended up with at, at what, um, at what uh, weight. So we'll work all that out now. So just bear with me. So the end result is this. Okay, I've put the jars I'm keeping, which was... Uh, two through to 14. Uh, so of keeping all those jars, I've put them into the container here with the rest of it. So I have now in this container, the gross rate is 11.183. As you can see, the container rate is 3.183. So it means I have exactly eight kilograms of alcohol in here at 92%. So I did test it. Uh, I took the ABV, so it is at 92%. So the weight of alcohol at 92% is 0.81257 uh, grams per litre, which means that I have um, 9.845 litres of alcohol in here at 92%. Um, now, to bring that down to 40%, I add 12.799 uh, litres of water, which will give me 27.644 litres of uh, technical uh, volume however we get contraction which means that my net um, on oh, that I say 22 22.644 so my net in here at 40% will be 21.987 litres of vodka at uh, 750 a bottle it's just over 29 bottles so out of 26 kilograms of sugar I end up with 29 bottles of vodka at 40%. Now, here's the test. I've taken uh, some uh, vodka out of the thing in here. I've watered it down to the 40%. Uh, so um, this is the, uh, the final product at 40%. Smells good. Oh yes, just that slight fruitiness taste to it. It's it's really good. It'll go. I think it'll go really well with my um, infusion of, uh, of of berries. So this is the control. Yeah. Oh. Definitely, definitely a lot smoother. The, the, these are the same. This is a 40% control. This is a 40% as well of what I'm tasting. So, oh yes, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, now, you know, quarter 11 in the morning, I'm half whacked. But anyway, um, at least it gives me time to sober up. For the day uh so yes that was um 
a worthwhile exercise. I highly recommend it. Uh, of course, every still is different. I know exactly how I ran the still for this particular test, so I can duplicate that uh, all the time use the same recipe so then I don't have to do the whole split uh, in future. I'll know exactly uh, how much to take off at the head, uh, which I will uh, take a, a volume of that one uh, off camera. Um, and so that'll tell me exactly what to take off at the heads. Then uh, it gives, takes me through to exactly how much I can have into my bulk container before I cut it off for the tails. But yes, um, wow, that's a lot of tails. So we've got one, two, three, four, four litres of tails out of um, 26. And remind, remember, this is uh, still around about 80, 85%, 85, 86%. This one here, 19, is at 87%. So it's still pretty high alcohol content, but just goes to show us when you hit that 90%, or anything less than 90%, you're really starting to get into the tails. So that's on a reflux still. Obviously, that's a bit different for a pot still, but for on this reflux still, that was... Uh, a very interesting um, end result. Anyway, um, I hope you uh, got something out of that. I'm probably going to hopefully cut a fair bit out so it's not too long and boring. Uh, but yeah, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit lit. Yeah. Anyway, stay safe, stay legal. Ciao for now. Distilling alcohol is illegal in Australia unless you hold the appropriate licenses and permits. I am not a lawyer and the contents of this video are not intended to be legal advice. Do not rely on any information contained in this video and seek your own legal professional advice before making any decisions. Be aware, the Australian Tax Office and the local law enforcement agencies will be taking interest in this channel due to its content. Please keep this in mind before posting any comments. Any comments posted are the opinion of the person posting and not of this channel. Let's get started.